Today on All Out Brick, we're going to be taking a look at the Glatorian. We're going to build the sets, review them, and then give out a score. Let's get started. everyone, I'm Christian from All Out Brick. Welcome to another Matanui Monday. As always, the best way to tag along with us every week is to subscribe and turn on notifications. This week, we're going to be building the Glatorian, which are a group of six sets that came out during early stages of the 2009 line of Bionicle. The Glatorian are a group of skilled warriors who inhabit the desert planet of Barra Magna. Due to ongoing conflict between the tribes, the Glatorian represent them in arena battles to resolve disputes and conflicts rather than resolving to all-out war. This method of fighting was seen on Earth in civilizations such as ancient Greece, medieval Europe, and in Norse mythology where individual combat served as a form of combat resolution for the fate of the entire region. The Aghori think of them as their protection and see them as their tribe's champions. The combat has a lot of nobility, respect, and fair play. As would be typical Bionicle fashion, the packaging consists of canisters with removable tops colored to match the sets inside. The front of the packaging shows off the sets and their environment, while the back gives us a uniform sand background with the Glatorian and accompanying Agori featured for reference. I know typically in Bionicle we get teams of sixes in like Toa or a villain group of six, so I'm kind of excited to get this change of a group of six that are kind of against one another and maybe have a couple different like rivalries, and then of course like the main villain species and all that. I'm excited for the change. So let's see if these can build off the positive momentum set by the Agori and send 2009 into a really big swing. In total, the build took just over 45 minutes. To be honest, I actually had a pretty frustrating building experience, but a lot of that was due to the sets being in used condition, and therefore they had some fractured and broken and fragile parts, or even in some cases I had missing parts, which is just the fault of the sellers. I guess I picked a bad week to not go sealed. Just like the Agori, we're going to break down each of the models by themselves, and then at the end we'll collectively go over the Glatorian as a group of six. The obvious standout with Scrawl is the black and red color scheme, it's just sinister. I love the change from the typical dark gray and black color schemes, the red accents just look incredible. There are a ton of armor and weapon pieces that have a high level of detail, which really adds to some depth to this model. The helmet is a similar one to what we saw with Attackus, but definitely feels a bit more mature. The bladed shield is probably one of my favorite pieces used in a bionicle set in recent memory. As you would assume, there are a lot of articulation points in this model along with the other two play features, which are the Thornax Launcher and the Life Counter. The Thornax Launcher works pretty well. I figure with the set being in use condition, it may not have quite the explosiveness it once did, but it does its job. The Life Counter is in relation to a game you can play against an opponent where hitting your opponent docks off their life count. Moving on to Malum, this guy is a lot bulkier than our typical set of this size, and I am all here for it. It's a nice variation and reminds me of the Hulkbuster. I do think the dark gray could have been swapped out for an orange color to make it more vibrant, but this color scheme matches the accompanying Agori set. Malam has two large claws on each hand, which look both deadly and useful for scaling some cliffs. Malam's helmet has a similar style to the one we saw last week, where there is a red to orange gradient which just looks perfect for a Fire Tribe set. As will be the case with all of the Glatorian, Malam has a Thornax launcher and a life counter. Next up is Gresh, who has a very contrasting, lanky look to him. While I do desire some more detail with this set, I think it flows very nicely all together and nails the color scheme. The black parts used as the inner limb structure really hide well behind the lime and dark green parts. This is accompanied by a very pleasant translucent orange face and one of my favorite helmets so far in 2009. Once again, we get a nice gradient of color and the anatomy of it just has so much life and expression to it. Unfortunately, my Gresh is missing a key piece which would form either a akimbo dagger or a shield. Massive disappointment for that on my end, but I can't really hold that against the set, just the seller. In what looks like one of the most prestigious water affiliated sets we've ever seen, Terex comes in with a beautiful blue and gold color scheme. Of all the Glatorian sets, this one feels the most like previous ones we've seen. The air tube really takes me back to Mari Nui, but not necessarily in a pleasant way. I want to join this new story and look for Bionicle, not look back at what's the past. But that can be forgiven with the unreal weaponry in each hand. 
The trans light blue matches great with the gold, and the actual shape of the weapons is some of the best we've ever gotten. While I'm not the biggest fan of Terex, there is a lot of detail and great part usage. I just wish it was a bit more progressive to the story. Moving on to Strock, this guy really shakes up the construction compared to other sets in this line. The torso is constructed to be angled with the hips rather than straight up. It's a nice and creative change. Once again, we see some amazing new molds and colors at the shoulders and the helmet. The helmet carries a bit of a D-bag vibe, but if this guy is to be associated with Metis at all, yeah, he's a D-bag. And just as I get done with praising the weaponry on Terex, we get an amazing ice axe, which once again has some incredible geometry and detail. Not to mention the color gradient, which looks absolutely insane. Last but not least is another cool design variant with Vorox. Vorox has a lot of the typical construction, but is also equipped with a sharp tail coming out of his back. I'm just so happy to see tan pieces once again in Bionicle, and this set is loaded with them. The helmet has no shortage of detail and looks quite fragile with all of its smaller segments protruding from the center. The tail is truly the big standout with this set alongside some of the armor pieces which give us a pleasant tan brown gradient at the arms and legs. I imagine this set is a mock builder's dream for a Pokoro build. In terms of pricing for these sets, if you want to get them in use condition, they're pretty affordable. You can expect to pay around 20 US dollars for each of them. I, that's going to vary a little bit of course depending on which model. And then if you want to go up to sealed condition, you can expect to pay on average 65 US dollars which I know that is three times the price of use condition, but to be honest, I actually might recommend going sealed just because of the building experience I had, whether it be the fragile pieces that then broke or the already broken pieces or just missing pieces. You can avoid all that just by paying an extra 40 bucks. That is expensive though, so I completely understand if that doesn't fit in your budget. If you do go the used route, just be prepared to fire up Breaklink and get some replacement pieces for the ones that come with the set. When it comes to a score for the Glatorian line, I'm going to give them an 8-5, which puts them pretty high up, especially in terms of a group of 6. If you can manage to look beyond the fragile parts, these are truly one of the best groups of 6 we've ever gotten from Bionicle. The designs are all unique enough from one another to not just be clones, but also feel like they belong together as a group of six of some sorts. Each of the sets has something special about it, and the new molds for this year continue to pleasantly surprise me. At this point, I'm just bummed that I didn't get to experience these sets when they first came out. I can only imagine how much fun I would have had with the life that these are breathing back into Bionicle after so many years of getting moodier and muted sets. It's just a little bit sad though to have the knowledge that these are going to be some of our last sets and one of our last groups of six. The fact there's only one more after this, it just feels like the possibilities are so endless that it can't possibly be near the end, right? So 8.5, that's your review. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to be the first to see all of our future content. Also, be sure to check us out on our website and follow along on our social media pages. Until next time, stay bricking. <laughs>